as the sun rises over this low-lying community in Wayne County, you begin to see Hurricane Florence's scope. We've just watched the water rise. Uh, there's nothing you can do about it. You just have to make light of it as best you can. The storm hit hard on Friday, but its aftermath will continue. A scene of depression Aaron Braggs wishes he didn't know. Two years ago, we went through this. During Matthew, six months later, uh, we went through it again. Rebuilding was grueling. Me and my daughter's boyfriend spent 37 days straight remodeling the, the house. They worked really hard to get me into that house before school started. They got us in the weekend that I started school. So they worked really hard and a lot of it was for me so that I would have a good place to go and do my schoolwork and be comfortable. As Aaron fights back tears of defeat, Shelby shares his pain. She remembers walking into her bedroom after the storm. When we went the first time with Matthew, it was really, really hard to see that because I've never seen anything like that before. And going into it now, it's kind of like, again, great. Again, they have to decide what's next for a third time. Well, the water's got my front porch floating. Probably six to seven inches of water in the house. You know, we just put down $3,200 worth of hardwood flooring in the house and it's floating. Oh, well, there's Mama's birdhouse. Anything left in the home three quarters of a mile downstream is now swamped. I wish you could really see that hay bale. I don't know if you can see it. Some decisions are tough, but necessary. It's nice to be in this community, but I just, I don't want to go through this anymore. We're going to find someplace else to go to and we'll buy some land on higher ground. We ain't gonna go through this every two or three years. But the Bragg's faith is bigger than their fear. I've always said with Matthew though that it built my faith in God because I saw us get through it. And I know we'll get through this. It's just, it's hard to, to imagine what's gonna happen in the next couple of months. With photojournalists Adam Vance and Jeremy Moore, I'm Eddie Randall, Nine News.